Hey everybody, welcome back to Settlement Survival. It's your friend Sarman here. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm having a pretty good day myself. And the, our town is doing great. Look at how many smiley faces we got. We got a lot of hearts as well. Almost 300 peeps. We got a good amount of labors. Stuff's going great. Uh, in this little area where we had a little bit ago, we had this marketplace that I hadn't activated yet, really. Uh, we have a bunch of... Well, it is activated now. We have a bunch of homes over here. And uh, as you can see, we are short a couple uh, building kits, but that's in the process. So my efforts over here were for our boarding houses to become empty. Now, we still have 24, 25 people in our boarding houses. We still have a couple to be built over here. So that's not going to quite take care of it all, but it's going to help. That's something on the side that I'm working on and just trying to get rid of all of our uh, boarding house occupants so everybody has a place to be uh, over here this is a logging camp i have uh put in a couple of forest farms adjacent to it my intent here is to get the forest farms up and running and then swap out the logging camp for uh, more forest farms and also over here we have three plantations we got three more on the way we got forest farms in betwixt the plantations to make up the space that was left behind we have three more, uh, six more fields up here that we're going to swap out for plantations. And up here we have our forest farms. That was at the end of the last episode as well. Our little village over here is doing great. Uh, we have as far as we can go this way with uh, people. And up here, I was considering swapping out these nurseries for houses, but I'm not going to quite do that yet. Uh, I did put in two more mines down here uh, in the attempt to get a little bit more iron ore. So that's that's going to be. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I think I might just leave it as... Um, as built but not occupy it right away just to help with our ore situation we have a good amount of people working in the quarry looks like we can throw one more person in there and let's do that now uh, we are getting a little bit low on laborers so we're gonna slow down with that a little bit but we'll just cruise around town here and just show you what else is going on uh, we have planks on the way over here in addition additional planks for building kits is why i decided to do that and then our nurseries up here and stuff from the last episode. So if we go into our development points, uh, we had somebody leave a comment and they said, hey, you should try out the grocery store. So I looked at this a few times and uh, haven't purchased it. So we're going to get into this uh, trade tier a little bit, a little bit of grocery store action. My thought is, with, since I have three points, I'm going to go grocery store. I'm going to go small trading post. It looks like there's certain items that get up put for sale and then a caravan comes by and periodically buys those so we're going to give that a whirl uh so let's do that we're going to grab grocery store we're going to grab small trading and then i think i'm going to go with pottery just another little industrial thing that we can get going here and we have all of these materials so let's go ahead and activate that as well so first thing grocery store mini market where you can regularly sell goods in exchange for silver coins just a little bit of uh, wood and iron ore to get this guy going. And look at that. It's a teeny little guy, and it's going to fit right in there. We'll do that. That's one little area. We'll do a couple over here as well. Let's go with... Ooh, look at that. Nice. It's like I it's like I planned it out. Maybe I did. You never know. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> no idea about anything in this game yet. Okay, we'll get another one over here. And that's going to be our third one. I'm not sure how big they're... Uh, how big their range is right so we'll see if that's going to be enough i might need to put another one up in this area somewhere up in here we'll see so let's those are in queue to get built and let's go check out our trading post uh we probably want to have this near our warehouses so it's easier to get this stuff and things right so uh there isn't really a good spot though unfortunately i could get rid of some of this road over here and put it in this area let's do that Kind of like that. Okay, small trading post. And it looks like it's got four-way access points. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to move it one away from the road so I can do one of these. And we'll just kind of surround this guy with the road. Uh, just because I want to. This is going to take brick and plank. Uh, according to this, I don't have any. I know I don't have any planks. So I mentioned that. But the bricks, I thought I had a little bit more. Ooh, I don't. Only ten. So let's just take a quick peek. That's our masonry workshop. That's not what I wanted. We should have a kiln factory making bricks and a kiln factory making glass. And it looks like we have that. Uh, furnace burden was an issue for a while, so that, that might have been part of our 
problem. You can see we got our furnace guy going right here. We got two people working on it. Uh, timber was the source problem, I think. And then furnace burden was being was falling behind because it didn't have the timber to uh, operate properly. So I think that's what happened in that chain. But we're doing OK now with timber. Thanks to a part of of those uh, timber farms that I was just talking about at the beginning of the episode here. So we'll get that rolling and it looks like I ran out of laborers. Oh, I wonder if that uh, mine got banged. Yes, it did. So let's turn that off, get our laborers back. At least some of them. And let's see if we missed anybody here. Graduate in school, died from starvation. How did you die from starvation with a hundred? <laughs> okay. So that must be a market issue, if I had to guess. Uh, I got two in there, three in here. I probably want to up these, but again, I don't want to take any more laborers out. We'll just leave that for now. Keep an eye on it, make sure it doesn't come a bigger problem. As these grocery stores get built, I bet you they're going to take at least... Well, of course, they're going to take at least one person to operate. So uh, we'll have to watch out for those and make sure that we don't run out of uh, laborers. And uh, so we have our trading posts, we have our grocery stores, and finally, our... Wow, look at all these things we have to build. Pottery works. Process clay or sand or sand into cutlery. Really? That's interesting. Okay, um, we'll go ahead and rotate that around. I think that'll work right up in this little area right in here, like so. Uh, I am constructing a traded goods facility which processes the raw materials into exquisite tradable goods. Mm. Are exclusively for sale and demand higher prices. You can sell goods at the grocery store to get silver coins. Oh, so maybe they're a work in conjunction together? I'm not really sure. So that's going to take a minute to build, but I think we have the stone and we have the clay. Yeah, according to this, we got 334 stone. That's that's great. It's on the way. And uh, we are just going to let those go for now. In the meantime, over on this end of town, kind of running into a problem. So we, as a collective, have opted to put in warehouses over here, right? And I, um, I like that choice. But uh, as you can see, they are um, full. So I'm not sure what to do with the inventory. Like I want them to have, the, I want the uh, the farmers to go to the warehouses. You know, they, that's the point of them, right? But then, can, is there something where we can move the goods from the warehouses to maybe like a different part of town that maybe has more warehouses? Uh, maybe that's what this does, the transfer station. It's store supplies. Okay, workers will transport stored goods to out of range warehouses. So we could maybe we can get that in our next development point and see what this does. I, I would like to move the goods from here to somewhere else so that these are open for the farmers to continue to bring us in a ton of great food. And they are doing a great job of that, as we can see over here. OK, that guy's almost built. Ooh, we just got an achievement. Heal the wounded and rescue the dying. Ooh, yeah, we're doing great with smiley faces and health. I've just been making sure there might be a more to this, but uh, I've been making sure that the clinics, that's not a clinic. The clinics are all, the houses are all within range of the clinics. There's also a bathhouse in range of every house, as well as we have been making, let's see if these guys have it. These guys don't have it. We have been making medicinal soaps. So those things all together, and no, I can't find one. <laughs> those things all together, I, I think that's what's contributing to our high happiness and our high health. But I can't seem to find any lying around. But let's see if we can find our soap guy. Here it is, soap workshop, medical soap. We've made about 90, so not a ton. Probably want to put in another soap workshop so we can make some more medicinal soap. Because it's going well. We want to keep doing great. And with this expansion of this area over here, as we should have bathhouses in range, we should have clinic in range. There it is. Yep. So everything is is good. It's oh, this needs to be turned on. Glad I looked at it. But now we're ooh, laborers. But yeah. So this little uh, this little area neighborhood is coming together as well. We gotta just make sure that we have all the things that we need to maintain our super happiness and our super health in the town here. All right, check it out. We got our grocery store up and working. All three of them are working. Um, well, what I didn't notice was that the uh, inventory w is pretty small. It's only a thousand. So I have all these things that I could put in here to queue up to put into the grocery store. Uh, but this grocery store only carries soybeans, apparently. So that's the thing. I could always change this and, you know, have it be 200, 200, 200, 200, 200, whatever. Maybe that's what I'll do after a little while. But 
we do have 2500 silver coins super amazing uh and we got a ship that that uh we can maybe use some of these silver coins with let's check out what they have now uh nothing super duper and amazing just some kind of mess stuff lamp oil is kind of what's sticking out a little bit we could get some more stone that doesn't hurt because we want to eventually upgrade our roads there's nothing here that i'm gonna get i don't think but we can see here that silver coins are one to one 2500 silver coins uh, and then i have my tobacco which is uh whatever 2303 times three is so good amounts of money uh, but not quite enough for our things we want to buy i want to get some chicken action and i want to get some wheat action but we need 9600 monies in order to get that order placed so not quite yet but we'll make it happen eventually uh we don't quite have our um green post created yet we're waiting on 10 more planks but that's going to happen here shortly and uh, let's just take our development points while we have a moment to do so oh and our pottery guy i forgot about that uh that's right here it is operational so we're, i made some porcelain things uh these are trade goods so we'll see how that goes if i trade them here if i trade them at the ferry we'll see how what happens with those i'm not quite sure yet i'm not sure what i want to move into next we could go large trading but i don't think i need to yet uh because i'm having some mining issues so we down over in our corner our mining corner we had this mine uh run out of coal and i can't switch it and make them have more things to mine this is getting low 40 percent it's okay still the quarry though 17 percent the quarry is gonna go next uh, so i had just put in these uh, where are they right here these two mines and i wasn't gonna use them and then i needed them so i'm gonna put them in when i did we now have 10 peeps getting us iron ore i don't really want to have is another one of these huge pits for our stone I, we can't delete this so we're kind of stuck looking at it uh so that's why i wanted to check out the mining stuff over here so if we have stone pit that's the quarry that we we're just looking at and then we can get to this exploitation technology one the coring workshop and the mountain quarry i'm thinking the mountain quarry is going to be just like the uh the mines that are like like this and uh, i think that's what i'm going to go for just to give it a try explore another tier a little bit more and uh, we can manage that it looks like we're about to get some more immigrants which is great because i only have two more uh, workers where do these all go? I feel like I'm getting immigrants and then I burn up all of my people that I have. So they, they come at a good amount of time. Oh, speaking of this, the manager's term has expired. So I just got this guy, trading proficiency plus one. So we can reappoint some of these peeps. Uh, this person is our stress is minus 10 and our farm yield is plus 10. So I want both of those if I can. Oh, it didn't read 5,000 silver coins oh no how much did i just what am i doing what oh i can't i can't because i don't have enough silver coins i only have 3700 but uh we are getting more so let's accept these immigrants that just arrived 21 of them holy cow okay uh yeah we're doing it remember when i said we got to be careful about expanding our population nah let's just go for it <laughs> uh over here we have our grocery store we have oh all of our houses are built so that's great. We are going to need more though because we just took in 20 more people. Ah, here we go. So our small trading post. What can we sell here? So let's see, can we have our inventory? So inventory doesn't tell me a number. Be nice if it told me a number. Um, but let's go ahead and I don't know. What do you think? So let, let's go ahead. We'll put in 20 medicinal soaps. We'll go with, we got a good amount of ropes. Let's go 20 rope. Maybe we throw in some uh medicine action we'll do some oats see i don't see i have no idea if 20 is a good number if it's too small i feel like it's too small because they're just going to be going back and forth and getting these things especially the foods where we where we know we have a lot of so i'm just gonna leave it like that for now and we'll see how this does i feel like i'm gonna need more Ooh, how about that so i mean this is the whole reason why i made these things right so let's add in 30 porcelains Oh, okay, so it tells me what they go for. That's excellent. So maybe we just cancel out these other food ones. And we'll just put these in here and we'll see what happens with this. The porcelain, I'm wondering if... Well, we can test it over here with our grocery store. So these are working, right? They're, I mean, it's one piece. So let's do the same. So let's knock these out of here. 
four beer. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that, and then let's go ahead and we'll grab. Ooh, we could do rough. We could do clothing in here too. Well, let's put twenty in here. Twenty-five, I said, and we'll see how these sell. I'm just gonna play around a little bit with the numbers and what we can make now, and we can try and get a ton of silver coins, and we can just buy whatever we want from the trader. It'll be good. That's the trading seems to be a very important part in this game. So I I, I need to do these grocery stores. Maybe in our next playthrough, we'll do it a little bit earlier because uh, it's kind of late. I mean, we're almost at year 100 and I'm just now starting silver coins. So maybe we'll do that a little bit earlier next time and we'll see if we, how, see if we can progress a little bit quicker. That's our silver coin operations. It looks like uh, we'll check this guy. We'll see. So they made, they made us 760 coins already. So that's that's good. So this was I think this is better to do the smaller amounts like this um, instead of the 2000 foods that I had like I said I wasn't sure how the inventory space worked before yeah look at that difference so 110 silver coins last year 1200 this year so definitely got to go around we'll make sure all of our groceries are more more gooder things like this and uh and that's the, the ticket I think we need to go so you know, we'll just do another 20 here and then we can have horse and stuff and all of our grocery stores all around the town and uh, that's just a. Oop, I got rid of my beer. I don't want to get rid of my beer. So let's go 50 beer, 52. Add. And then finally, let's get our porcelain. I'm going to call that 20. I know I don't have 20, but that's what we'll put it as the order. And then we have medicinal soap here already. Okay, okay, good. Good. So let's give that a go and we'll see how much uh, silver ore we can. Silver ore. Silver coins we can get. And we'll check back on the next episode. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Thanks for helping me get some super coins started. That's pretty great. Super fantastic and amazing. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, thanks for coming to, thanks for coming to hang out with me. And uh, I hope to see you in the next episode of Settlement Survival.